Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Yo, yo, what's good, what's good, what's good, YouTube? I'm back again with another one. Had to get me some tea. Lemon ginger tea. Oh, this just, oh, it's banging. And it's hot. So, all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. I'm back again, but this time, y'all... Police, police at it again. Police at it again. This time, this is in Walton Hills in Ohio. Uh, say, huh? Walton Hills? Yeah. That's where I used to work at. at yep, Walton Hills. Reading the article right now. It says, Walton Hills police ripped woman out of car during traffic stop. Slammed her against the car after she started recording officer. So you know he's getting a lawsuit. But here's the video. How she resist? First of all, how she resisted when he just ripped her out of her own car, and she's asking you, "What does she do?" You ain't even telling her. You just tight police shirt just pulled her right out the car. I think some of these police officers were bullied in school. In middle school. I mean, they took a performance enhancement drug to get them bulked up so they can get a little tough. But I don't know. I don't I don't know the mind state of a police officer. I'm not a police officer. I don't know what goes on in their heads, but let's get back into it. <laughs> but my car is overheated. Y'all hear this? Her car is overheated. She keep asking him, "What does she do?" What the heck was that about? I don't know. Oh, man, I ain't pulling in anywhere, and I'm recording. All right. Well, we'll go my way. Did she run from you? Were you guys previously She was stopped? going 66. I got behind her trying to light. She kept going, and then she finally slammed on the brakes, sliding to stop here. I got you. Y'all already know he lied right there. Stop it! Look at him. He pulled her straight out the car. Straight out the car. Straight out the car. That's the video, but let me read this article to y'all. Cleveland, Ohio. A Walton Hills police officer grabbed a woman by the arm and ripped her from her car during a traffic stop. After she started recording the officer with her cell phone, according to a lawsuit, Amanda Mills suffered several injuries, including a broke wrist bone and permanent injuries to her breast during the February 19th, 2022 traffic stop. Oh, this happened in 2022. Huh. Oh. Attorney John P. Fielder said in this report, Miles filed the lawsuit in federal court in Cleveland last month which was actually, this was in February, so she filed it in uh, 
or they had to file it in February. It's probably March then. I guess the small village in southeast Cuyahoga County and officer C.J. Smitty, 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 according, accusing the officer of using excessive force. Now, y'all can see in this video, he did use excessive force. Uh, you know, um, it says she was subject to violent, unnecessary, and needless, needless abuse by officers and that she suffered pain, mental, and emotional harm. Depri deprivation, deprivation of civil rights because of the incident. P. Filder, Pedafilder, Pilf, Pilf, Pilfder wrote in the lawsuit. It was extremely physical, said in the interview. It was pretty unbelievable. Wow. Walton Hill Law Director John Montello declined to comment because the village hasn't seen the lawsuit. <laughs> so how do you not see the lawsuit that was filed against your police department? I'm quite sure police departments have their own little attorney to represent them when the boys in blue serve and protect as they call it. But I don't understand it, people. I just don't understand it. And I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I, I, mm. And the plane dealer, the plane dealer has requested the body camera video, the police report, and other documents from Walton Hill, which have not been provided. Schmidt on February 19th. Stop Mills car for speeding on Alexander and Northfield roads. She immediately pulled to the side of the road and had no weapons, drugs, or anything illegal inside the car. Stated in a lawsuit. Mills was not driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol, had no criminal history or outstanding warrants, and officers had no reason to think she might be dangerous. According to the lawsuit, the officer was irate as he ex exited the cruiser and screamed at Mills. According to the lawsuit, he ordered Mills to get out of the car. Mills asked for a reason, and she stated and started recording on her phone. And in the video, you can clearly hear her asking, what did she do? What did she do? What's wrong? What's going on? What did she do? He still didn't tell her. So, I, I, I think they go deaf on certain things they don't i think they do have selective hearing they only want to hear what they want to hear i bet you if you gave i bet you if you gave one of them the finger and told them oh they would be pissed they'd be pissed you know you done broke the law now that'll be grounds for you to get beat up And then they'll say you was resisting arrest. So, but, yeah, as y'all can see, this is a, this is going to be a little short video because, you know, your man's got to get up and go put these 10 hours in. So when I come back tomorrow, I can drop another jewel on y'all. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so y'all can be notified when I come online and be the first to hear about it. But I'm going to hit y'all with something groovy tomorrow. So, until then, peace. Love y'all. Stay blessed.